right. Hi, guys. It's Mary. Welcome back. Today, we're going to do another drugstore get ready with me. And we're going to be visiting the um, Emily Edit palette, which I'm rubbing all my letters off of. But I was so excited and wanted to use more Candid from Revlon. I might have to do an entire Revlon face. I'm pretty impressed with this foundation. I don't need to do a wear test because... If you remember, I've had this foundation before. I just had the wrong shade. Anyway, we're going to tell more stories, do this look, and so let's get to it. This is what I went to get was the concealer because I've tried the foundation now, albeit wrong shade, um, but I really wanted to try this since I tried the powder and I liked it. So yeah, I'm excited to put the three together and see what happens. All right, let's put the new foundation on and see what we get. So I'm going to pump that out here and I hope I'm not making a mistake doing my foundation first because <laughs> I'm using the Emily Edits palette today and I can't remember if there's fallout on it. I can't remember. I think this is kind of full coverage. Anyway, does it ever cease to amaze you that the closer you get to Halloween, I mean all the leaves got to fall off and get wet. <laughs> Because it's not going to be Halloween unless you have to wear a, a jacket over your costume and get all wet outside. You know what Shy Guy and I were talking about and he did not remember this. So I thought I'm going to make a notation to talk to you guys about it and see if you guys remember this. Okay, because I even called my mom and said this really happened, right? <laughs> because he had never heard of it and thought, that's rude. <laughs> he thought it was rude and crazy, but we had a blast doing this. I think this matches my skin tone pretty good, right? From what I can see in this tiny little mirror. <laughs> Seems to be. You might call this something different. I hope you guys have heard of this too. My mom remembered, so I'm not all crazy if she remembers it, right? Okay, I'm putting a little bit more on there. We called this a scavenger hunt. What you do is, like you have a bunch of people together at your house for a party. Now, this is back in the day, man. I mean, you if you did this today, can you imagine? I was watching this comedian on Netflix, and he was talking about the differences between um, back when we were growing up and now, like how you would act when company would come over to your house everybody runs to the front door you know everybody's so excited because the doorbell rang and you have company and you get out the Sara Lee cake and you know you do all this stuff for the company that came to see you and you were so excited about it so this scavenger hunt that I'm talking about it took place back in the days when you still didn't hide when the doorbell rang <laughs> when your doorbell rings do you guys run to the door and go welcome it's company or do you be like who's at the door somebody's at the door <laughs> so the idea of the scavenger hunt is you got a party of people at your house like I don't know maybe 20 30 people and I always remember this being around Halloween time so like maybe they would do it maybe we were doing this as a Halloween party that's probably what it was you get all these people together and you split off in groups now I can remember we did this in groups of three so be three of us together and you know maybe you maybe at yours you did it in twos or whatever anyway you've got a list of things on a piece of paper everybody has the same list of things and they're everyday things that you would find in people's houses so far my likey that looks good now let's set it down with powder i've not tried this powder with a sponge yet let's do it on one side with a sponge and the other side with a brush so anyway on the list might be things like a chewing gum wrapper, a bobby pin, um, a piece of yarn, you know, stuff like this, okay? It's stuff that you would find, a nail, paper clip, you know, stuff that you would find laying around anyone's home. Of course, you have to do this in the suburbs. I mean, this wouldn't work very well if you lived in the country. Everybody takes off at the same time, and you have X amount of time to get back to the house with your stuff. You're not supposed to be leaving the development. You cannot go to a store. You have to just knock on people's doors 
And the people in the neighborhood, they answer their doors, just like that comedian was saying. You know, they're like, hello, what did you want? You know, and then you're like, I'm at a scavenger hunt. Do you have a bobby pin? And they're like, I don't know, let's see. And you go right in their house. You follow them in, and they proceed to look in their house for a bobby pin or whatever's on the list. You get the stuff, race back to the house. Whoever gets back to the house with all their stuff wins. I know you can't tell probably, but I definitely like this better with the brush. Okay, the sponge just kind of made it look like I need to take some Mac Fix Plus and spray down some of this, not cakey, but it doesn't look as pretty as the side with the brush. I'm hoping that you guys have heard of this too and that the reason that Shy Guy doesn't remember it is because he grew up in the country. I'm just taking this blush that I pulled out of a Z palette by Flower Beauty. This is also a Flower Beauty blush brush. It's their new precision one. And yeah, that's pretty, right? Mm-hmm, sure enough. And look, it just happens to fit perfectly in their blush. Oh gosh, I bet that wasn't by design. <laughs> This is another Flower Beauty powder brush. This one is their new one, which I think is better for buffing. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buff that and make it look seamless. And go over my eyes, too. This is the new Cody Airspun Highlighter. And it's the pink one. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that. I'm just going to go ahead and still use this blush brush because I will be washing it anyway <laughs> that also reminded me of that comedian and him saying that because i died laughing over that and it's so true i mean like somebody knock at your door come on tell me that i'm the only one here people knock on your door these days you don't just run to the door and be like somebody's coming to see me come and come you're probably like who's at the door did you call somebody <laughs> this is the milani stay put I'm just going to run it right here and into my lashes. Those of you that grew up in neighborhoods in the suburb, you know, I mean, did you guys have like, did you find that the parents would like all get together and not just from there, but also from like, if you had brothers or, you know, sisters that played Lassie League or brothers that played baseball or football or whatever, they tended to all get together and play cards on the weekends and and back in those days they didn't have to lock the doors you know you didn't lock your doors unless you were going away from the house or like our parents you know if they were playing cards with the neighbors or something of course they would lock the doors but you know for i can remember going to bed at night and the windows being open the screen you didn't have to worry somebody was going to come crawling in your house <laughs> Today, that would be a real concern. You got webcams <laughs> on your house. Somebody comes knocking at your door and you're like, look and see who's at the door. <laughs> Shh, don't let anybody know, you know. And, and you didn't worry back then, you know. You were happy that company was over. You were uh, feeling safe going to bed at night with the, my gosh, you would, you would be like smoldering hot if you didn't because there was no air conditioning. Second row, first color on the left is Midwest using a Royal Lang Nickel Balm 44. And I'm just roughing this into the crease and high transition. Third row, second from the left, I'm using Love Tons with a Balm 44 by Royal Lang Nickel. And I'm taking this into the crease over the top of Midwest. Then I will softly blend it to mix with Midwest in the transition. Fourth row, first shade on the left is Cupcake. I'm using a Sephora Pro Shader number 18 and just swiping that all across the lid. It's a really pretty, shiny, light pink color and taking it into the tear duct area as well.
Fourth row, sixth shade, or the first shade on the right is dark and early, and I'm using one of my favorite brushes. This is the Royal Ling Nickel Balm 47 with dark and early, and I'm just tapping that very slowly, building up this shade on the outer corner. And then I'm going to use it, bring it down underneath on just the outside corner. Using the same Sephora number 18 brush that I used before, I'm reapplying Cupcake just to make it a little brighter and help transition it into dark and early. Now this is a eyeliner by Maybelline that I'm not really that fond of. It's called Jade Olive. It's not the shade I want, but it does make a nice base for the shade that I really do want, <laughs> which is inside the Emily palette, and it's a shade called Grateful. I'm using the Sigma E46 and Grateful to go over the top of this shade, and I think it hugs it really good, and this is actually the green that I'm looking for. Like jumping between brow pencils, right? What's wrong with this? It feels like there's something wrong with this pencil, because I've been using a creamier pencil. Okay, so now it feels like there's something wrong with this brand new CoverGirl, and there's not. I just need to push harder, which is also how I get out of control. Sometimes is with a pencil that you have to push on a little bit to get the color to come off. Sometimes you end up with too much color coming off, and I do that frequently. I can't be the only one. We weren't all born knowing how to do eyebrows. And you also go through this, oh, there's not enough in the front, not enough in the front. Okay, so you're like doing, doing, and oh, there's too much in the front. <laughs> Start over. I really love doing these because it really connects all of us together and we can bounce things off each other and remember things that you may not remember. Even with what I was saying about the party line and then that led to talking about the conversation where I was sneaking and making phone calls and you guys had done that too and then somebody would say something about before call waiting and stuff and then of course that reminded me of this older woman that I knew. When I was like in my mid-20s I knew this older woman She's like in her 80s, and I would talk to her every single day on the phone. And I mean, I've just always been like that. I've just always loved to spend time with elderly people. I think that you can learn so much from them. And I love the stories. Like I remember her telling me one time that one of her favorite Christmases was when she got an orange. That was her present. Of course, now you realize that for me in my lifetime, getting an orange is like, well, that's produce at the store. But for her as a little girl, that was a big deal because they didn't stock this stuff at the grocery store back then, you know, and, and it actually tasted like an orange. <laughs> this stuff they're passing off as produce these days. No. <laughs> Anyone who loves garden tomatoes can tell you, you'd rather wait all year to have that than eat them, you know, year round from the grocery store. They're just don't, hothouse tomatoes. I don't care what anybody says. They don't taste like a tomato. So anyway, we'd talk on the phone all the time. Now I had call waiting at this particular point. They had call waiting. They had call waiting before I had ever left home. I gotta bust a move, guys. I've been trying to make this all drugstore, but you guys know I can't live without this product, so I gotta bust a move on you here. Sorry. <laughs> and fix this eyebrow because it's just noticeably down farther than the other one. <laughs> so I have to fix it with this. Anyway, so I'm talking to her on the phone, and you know, she would call me and we would talk about what the neighbors were doing. <laughs> And, and I thought, oh my gosh, one of these days I'm going to grow up and the highlight of my day is going to be what the neighbors are doing because that was what hers was. It was the, you know, oh my gosh, honey, do you know what so-and-so did? You know, I'm like, no, what did... At that time, I'd be like, I could care less, but I'm going to listen to her anyway because she's having such a good time telling me what so-and-so did, you know. And oh my gosh, honey, he peed on the church, you know. Yeah, 
some guy did that. He like peed on the on the wall of the church. Anyway, different story. <laughs> anyway, she would call and tell me everything that was going on, right? Well, so I get a call on the phone on on the other line when uh, I'm talking to her on the phone. And I told her, I said, hang on, sweetie. I got to go to the other line. And so I answer the phone call, you know, tell the person who's on the other line, basically, I'm on the phone already, and uh, I'll call you back or what, what have you, whatever. The point was, I went to the other line and came back. When I got back, she was like, honey, where did you go? And I told her, I went to the other line. What other line? And so I'm explaining to her that I have call waiting and you know that I went to the other phone line <laughs> and she's like oh my gosh I got too much of this she's getting upset with me because guess why there's no such thing now she knows this for a fact I don't know what they have told you they've sold you a pack of lies I don't know what it is that you're talking about but there is no such thing because I used to work at the phone company what in 1902 you know <laughs> I think I got a little more on this eye than this one. I'm not positive because, say it with me, I can't see. <laughs> but, but anyway, I never did convince her what I was actually doing, where I actually went. But it wasn't that hooey I told her because she used to work at the phone company. And like this was in 1984, I'm thinking. So, you know, when she worked at the phone company, it was probably like 1910. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to put on mascara and do my hair and I'll be back. And this is the finished look. So this is uh, the mascara I used off screen. I put two coats of this on and went back into my lower waterline with the LA Girl. It's that nude one, their nude eye pencil. I really like that. I hope you guys know that you're the best part of the Fritzy family. And if you're not having a blessed day, please go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya, bye. And I'm out. It is raining outside, so you might hear that. Uh, but we're going to press on anyway. Why are you, oh. <laughs> we're gonna press on anyway. <laughs> I like to pump it, pump it. I like to pump it, pump it. Oh no, put it in your hair. I was priming the pump and it wouldn't come out. I like to pump it, pump it. I like to pump it, pump it. Actually, I think that goes. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move this foundation. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is that sticking out of, booger? No, it's not, guys. It's just skin. <laughs> Hold on, it looks like I'm picking my nose, but I'm not. I'm just getting that skin off there. You. They're running through their house looking for that blah, 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 blah. Flower beauty. This is also a flower beauty. <laughs> this is a full, full, flower beauty. Oh my gosh, somebody's on the door. Who can it be? Who can it be now? Do, 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 do. What's that, a trumpet or something? No. Do, 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 do. Who can it be now? Do, 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 do. <laughs> How about you just do the voices and not the ones in your head? No, not the instruments. You know, the people in the neighborhood, they wanted to be your neighbor. <laughs> Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> Mr. Rogers lived next door. No. We're just going to roll with it, baby. Yeah. Roll with it, baby. I don't remember any of the other words, so we'll just keep saying that over and over. Roll with it, baby. Roll with it, baby. Roll with it, baby. Okay. <laughs> this is like a heart. Why don't you snort like a pig? <laughs> She's getting upset with me because... Dang it, why don't you just keep dropping this on the floor? I